If I would start in business again, what would I do differently? I would just cut all the bullshit. Cut the bullshit. Cut the bullshit. You know, like, get rid of all these toxic friends. Get rid of toxic family members. Get rid of toxic environments. Your workplace. If your workplace is toxic, change it. Stay away from drugs, alcohol, girls, all this stuff that's going to distract you. Now, I'm not saying stay away from girls like that. But I'm just saying stop like stop all the, all these distractions of cheating and dating and uh, three different girls uh, at once. Like those are distractions. You start hanging out with buddies that are all into like, I'm going to go out with this girl. I'm going to go out with that girl. I'm going to go to this nightclub and then to this other nightclub. Let's go to the strip club. Let's go smoke. Let's go drink. Let's go bar hop, happy hour, after work. See, winners don't think about that. You know, winners like Grant, they'll invite me to their private jet to have some champagne. But I'm not talking about cheap champagne. I'm not talking about that champagne that gives you a hangover. Cheap shit. You know, I'm talking about good stuff. I got this for, for Albert to celebrate his driven event. 2004, 14 years old. We're going to have a sip of it right now, right? You know how to crack this? Dom Perignon. You know, he wants to drink one of those bottles that are like a thousand bucks aged Dom Perignon. Okay, he invites me to dinner and he wants to have some Camus. I have a lot of Camus. I have Camus with my buddy Brad. Okay, the billionaire upstairs that lives a penthouse in my building, he wants to have some good wine. I'll have some drinks with him, but I'm going to learn from him. I'm going to cut the bullshit. I'm going to stop hanging out with losers, quitters, and nobodies, and I'm going to listen to these big dogs. You know, if these big dogs want to go out and have some booze, I'm all in because I'm going to get some knowledge. I'm only going to spend time with people that provide value. I'm going to be a little bit selfish. That's what I would do differently. Be a little bit selfish. Say no to people that have nothing to offer and say yes to people that are going to offer you value. Why? Because you got to take care of yourself before you're able to take care of anybody else. You want to take care of your kids? You want to take care of your wife, your husband, your family, your parents, your brother, your sister? Well, stop hanging out, hanging out with losers that have nothing to offer and only spend every minute on people that offer you something in return. Yeah, it's selfish, but you want to be broke and tell your kids, I can't take you to Disneyland because I'm broke, because I'm helping people that have no hope, people that don't listen, people that waste my time. Or do you want to tell your kids, yes, I can take you to Disneyland, baby, taking you to Disneyland tomorrow. You know why? Because I spend time with winners, people that offer me value and people that I could help in return, people that collaborate to creating better and better and improving the world. You know, people that are going to provide something that's going to be beneficial to everybody. So cut the bullshit, get rid of all the trash, garbage, includes close friends that you might think, family members, and people that you might be working with. Maybe it's time for you to go to a different job, different workplace, a different city, a different state, maybe somewhere else in the world. But cut the bullshit. When I was 21, if I would have cut the bullshit, I would be a billionaire already, but I didn't. So if I could go back in time, I would simply cut the bullshit.